emotionally it just drains you um, financially it's devastating Neighbors in Imperial Beach are rallying against what they say are unfair rent increases and evictions at an RV park. New at 4, ABC 10 News reporter Neil Watson spoke with some tenants about their calls for change. Sí se puede. Sí se puede. Chanting yes we can in Spanish, tenants of the Siesta RV park are fighting back against their landlord. The senior and the disabled veteran. I could not have to be worrying about not being able to afford my rent. Nobody here can afford to live outside of this place. That's why we're fighting for, the, for this. In January, the RV park was sold to Miramar Imperial Beach LLC. Juan Navarez, who's lived here for 10 years, says they now have to deal with rent increases. They'll also have to start paying water, sewer and trash fees. The funny part is that none of those things can be measured because we don't have we don't have any any meters. Newer tenants like Rachel Orozco say they're subject to a six month rule where they're required to move their RV off the property every six months for two days. I decided to leave it on the street, which is not safe. And that's my house. This is literally everything I own. Like everything. <laughs> the tenants' demands include an end to the six month rule, a limit to rent increases of no more than 3%, and more transparency on how they're being charged fees. When I went to the on site management for comment, the office was locked and a woman inside refused to talk. I would like to see at least, to the very least, that the managers uh, take some kind of program where they can treat the people better, where we can actually. Have have a uh, where we can actually have some kind of dialogue. In Imperial Beach, Nia Watson, ABC 10 News. And the tenants are also asking for the city to pass stronger rent protection ordinances. We did reach out to the city for comment and called Miramar Imperial Beach LLC. Neither have responded at this time.